Today we are going to be making some Japanese candy. Let's open it and see what the contents are. We have the stencils, the powder, some yellow powder, some red powder, some blue powder, and the little water spoon. Fill the water up to the line. I filled the water up to these four trays. Now we're going to add the powders. This green one goes in the star container because it has a star. small tray, it doesn't matter which one. And continue putting the powders in the two and three bowls. Now that we filled the one, two, and three box with the powders, and we still have this one clean water, we're going to cut out, cut out the tinsel. Continue cutting them all. Get the fork it came with and smooth out the one with the star, the white powder. Then mix the three colors. After all the powder is dissolved, you can start mixing the colors. Clean out your quarter. You can get your fork. There's green. While mixing the colors, I have made purple, green, orange, and brown. Now take a stencil, push it down in the one with the white powder, and then grab, pick up some of your colors of your choice, and put it on the powder. Smells pretty. Now, carefully start to pick it up. Now, push it out onto a paper towel or a plate. What would you like to make next? A bear? A lion? Or a piece of air that goes to the lion? Let's choose the bear. Place the stencil into the white powder. the brown color and then make the outline. Take it from your powder and 
place it over a paper towel or a plate and gently push it out. Place the face stencil into the powder and drag some color on there. To complete the face. How about the face? This is the bear that got messed up. Well, these are the ears, the two eyes, and the nose. <laughs> we finished creating all the designs. The elephant, the lion, the crazy bear, the bear head, the other elephant, and then the elephant with no head, and then the bear head. I think this elephant was the best. <laughs>